I've kind of been thinking about it a little bit more as well. About what? Just like us. Yeah. Mm. A few things. Need to make sure I word it right. Articulate, is that the right word? That's the word, yeah. After last night, it kind of like gave me like a reality shock. And I kind of just like sat and dwelled and like thought about whether this is a type of relationship I do want to pursue like down the track. If we did leave last night, we definitely wouldn't be able to work on the outside. No way, not at all. And I was honest with you, I told you that. Yeah, exactly. Because we're two weeks in and how are we going to make it work between Gold Coast and Tasmania? Impossible. I would happily make the move to Gold Coast, but like you're just so, so shut off to has he or no, I don't know, it no, just no, feels no. like you're shut what off I'm, to... What I'm saying is I'm not moving my whole life with yeah. someone I've known for two weeks. As I said, if I'm in love, I'll do anything for it. Yeah. Right now I'm not in love. There's no wiggle room, literally no wiggle room whatsoever. And like, I'm a bloody squirmer. Like I'm like, zzz, zzz, zzz. I need wiggle room. I need like a sun angel, a snow angel or something. Like I need, I need that room. What are you thinking? I'm, I just want you to be honest with me. Like I'm yeah. not... I'm being open with you. I know how I feel, but I don't know how you feel at all. Yeah. And I'm well, just like, putting it out there. Well, I'm kind of swaying towards just keeping your options open. There you go. That's fine by me. I'll figure out what I want to do. That's all I wanted to hear. After seeing his reaction, I was kind of like, well, you know what, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. Like, I'm not here to come out single. I do see a little spark with Jared and I. Clarity is key. And I need to clarify with Jared that I think there's a spark. Hey, yeah. Last night, go for you. I don't know. I just had like a chat to Owen. Yeah. And I kind of may have said in a way that I'm keeping my options open. I think the way he took it has really grounded my feelings a lot more. Yeah. Like I was kind of like, I don't know. And then he was like, no, nah, that's cool, that's fine. Like if he kind of had to like, nego not negotiate that, but like try yeah. to sort things out back. Maybe would have been different, yeah. I just thought I'd let you know Maybe. that. Thanks. You could fill in the blanks, I think, that she was uh, saying that to me to, to say that she was interested in me. Yeah, yeah it was good. It was, it, was, it was nice to hear, and that's cool. The, uh, Jessie's just pulled me aside, just saying uh, that she's had a conversation with Ellen this morning, saying she wants to keep her options open. <laughs> oh, hey, she's panicking now. Bro, why? What happened? <laughs> Unlucky. What happened, bro? Basically had a chat then. Yeah. And she goes, um, Oh, she's like, I'm leaning towards keeping your options open. It's bullshit. Yeah, and I said, um, I swear on your life. I swear to God. Uh, you know what I said? I said, yeah, good, that's fine. That's all I need here, and I just walked off. See ya. You're kidding. And then beeline straight for Jared. That's unbelievable. I'm not mad. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> I, I just needed to hear it. You know what I mean? Now I can move on freely.